Moore's law famously says that computer power doubles every 18 months or so. This is evidenced clearly when graphing computer chip prices and their relative processing speed, power, and memory. In fact, Moore's law is true even if one includes technology from as far back as 100 years. This means that every year, video games are twice as powerful as those then from the year before. The chip in your birthday cards would have been remarkable to Hitler or Churchill in the 1940s. And yet, it's so common to us that we simply throw it away when we're done. A military supercomputer of 1997, worth millions of dollars, has the same power as your PlayStation 3 that runs for approximately $130. NASA placed mankind on the moon in 1969 in less computing power than you have in your cell phone. These chips are transformative. They greatly empower anything that they touch, like some divine force. When they touched phones, we got cell phones in return. Cameras became digital cameras, phonograms became iPods, paper money became credit cards, arcade machines became video games, and airplanes became war drones. Yet their potential still hasn't been reached. These chips can be integrated into everything from clothes to your toilet and even your brain. Here we are going to take a look at technology you can expect to see in the next 10 to 50 years. Smart Glasses and Contact Lenses As we're already seeing with projects like Google Glass, tech of the future aims to be more and more within our line of sight. Glasses and electronic contact lenses will be enabled with full internet connectivity, allowing you to answer emails, watch movies, listen to music, and explore websites without the need of a computer. Like a feature out of a sci-fi film, face recognition will prompt people's names in a short biography to come up on screen when you're meeting someone. Visiting a foreign country will be a far less anxious endeavor when you realize that languages and conversations will be translated in real time for you with subtitles appearing as a person speaks. Or, if you're there as a tourist, you can use your augmented reality to turn the ruins of the Roman Empire into reconstructions of the real thing. History coming back to life before your very eyes. All of this is possible because images from the glasses will be flashed directly onto your retina at a quality similar to the screens at movie theaters. Contact lenses with cameras have already been patented by Samsung and you could, in the future, film live streams where people see exactly what you see all day long. Now we're going to talk about screens. This video illustrates just how screen-centric our future lives will be. Needless to say, having this amount of power available with small lenses alone, we will see people using computers and cell phones far less. Cell phones and laptops will now have flexible screens that you can roll up or fold and take with you. There's no reason your entire house won't be intelligent as well. Wallpaper itself will be internet enabled so that you can change your design and color with the push of a few buttons. Even better, you'll have cyber dogs and personal secretaries that appear on screen. They'll help you set dates, search the web, or even find a date with the exact traits you're looking for. Your assistant will cross-reference your date's information with a deep profile and background check to make sure all the information is true. Of course, you'll be able to watch room-sized movies as well as video chatting with loved ones in a different part of the world. Let's talk about transportation. Self-driving cars are here, and while just recently Uber faced a dilemma involving one of their self-driving cars, they are still seen as far safer than human drivers. 
we are integrating them so much into our world that it will at some point seem absurd for anyone to own a car since automated vehicles will be readily available to take you wherever you need to go. Remember, those contacts we spoke about earlier, they'll sync with your vehicle to give you information about speed, how much gas you have, and where the nearest dealerships and gas stations are. In case of an accident, the car will be able to upload your location and medical history to the nearest hospital. Your clothes, which will then be integrated with chips themselves and therefore intelligent, will be able to monitor your heart rate, breathing, and even your brain waves. So what happens when you do get to the doctor? That's where comes our next future tech. Let's get into health. Monitoring your health will start in the home with smart toilets. Entire smart bathrooms, actually. The toilet will monitor your fluids to detect harmful cancer proteins or signs of other diseases. And because this will be a very early detection, cancer itself could be eradicated from our species. Currently, when one feels something strange and goes to the doctor to get it checked out, there are already billions of cancer cells in the body and it's really too late. But if your toilet can alert you when you have only 100 cancer cells inside you, then there's a much bigger possibility of survival. Smart toilets might also get annoying, though. For those of you with bad diets, your toilet will tell you you're eating too much sugar, fats, salts, or maybe that you're not getting enough water. These smart bathrooms will have chips that analyze DNA, giving you access to vital information about your individual genes. This genetic information will be available to your doctor, who at this point will be able to monitor your health around the clock. Artificial Intelligence and Robots While it is frightening to contemplate what kind of power and intelligence our future robots will have, scientists believe we have plenty of warning before artificial intelligence reaches the level of a dog or a monkey. At that point, some argue we might not want to let machine intelligence develop much further. Currently, we are looking at an era where machines replace human workers across many fields, such as factory work, transportation, outside labor, market investment, medicine, etc. As one might think there is cause for concern about what this will mean for unemployment rates across the world. When choosing between machines and humans, companies whose only focus is to make bigger profits will have to go with our machine counterparts. Why? Because they can work 24 hours a day, don't need breaks or insurance or paid time off can do the work much more efficiently and don't require any salary. When a large enough portion of the workforce has become automated, we may have to think of universal basic income or perhaps rethinking our economic system altogether. Most importantly, AI will teach us what it means to be human and what it truly means to create new life. Now let's move on to virtual reality. How many of you have seen Ready Player One? While it's classified as a science fiction film, it really isn't as fictional or as far away as it may seem. Better virtual reality in the near future will allow you to explore distant worlds and become any character you want. While virtual reality was first developed to train soldiers and pilots in the 1960s, it has now found its entertainment value. Haptic technology will even allow you to feel the things that you're seeing in your virtual world. Devices attached to springs and gears will push back when you press forward to give you the sensation of pressure. This will be a great way to train new surgeons since they need a very good sense of pressure to do their jobs. In conclusion, however futuristic these may seem, they're not much compared to what could come 50 to 100 years from now. Technology from that era will make much of the Harry Potter universe possible for us muggles. We could be entering a wizard-like world soon enough. Which innovation are you most looking forward to? This information was shared by Ella Alderson. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing engineering and technology videos.